Welcome to the Codex Cantina. The Codex Cantina. The Codens. The Codens? Codens. Close enough. <laughs> All right, today we're going to be doing the Anthropod book tag. Do you know what an Anthropod is, Mason? We are tagged by a friend to talk about books. So we're going to do it, but we're going to cheat. Okay, because I think we're just going to keep it at bug level. Is that, is that a fair deal? Uh-huh. Deal. Okay, deal. All right, question number one is some insects are critical to... You're not going to get that, are you? All right, question number one. What got you to start reading, Mason? What was the first book you ever read? That bird one. The bird book? Uh-huh. So can we read it? You want to read Chicken Little? What was your favorite part about this book? It's about, let me see. It's about this little acorn. Oh, it's not about Chicken Little, it's about an acorn? Yeah, it's about an acorn falled on that guy's head. Yeah, that was a good one. That was one of your first books that you've ever read. Mm -hmm. All right, question number two. What's the coolest bug, Mason? Centipede. You like the centipede? I think this question asks about millipedes, and here you are picking the centipede. Have you look, have you done this tag before? Uh-huh. Cheating's welcome around here. Question number three, we're gonna we're gonna cheat on all of these, is what book would you want to live in? Uh the skeleton dead book. The skeleton dead book? Uh-huh. Why would you want to live in the skeleton dead book? Because you have to be a skeleton zombie to live in that book. I think you'd like the Dia de los Muertos. Do you know what that day is, Mason? What? Do you, you remember the movie Coco? Yep. Okay, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll watch some Coco later on and you can live in the Dia de los Muertos. Question number four. What's the longest book you've ever read? You know what book I think is the longest book you've ever read? It's probably one of these, these Dogman books. Yeah. So since the last time you've been on this show, Mason... You started to learn how to, re to to read, right? Yeah, but I gotta tell you something, Daddy. What's up? The centipede book is when a little centipede asks the spider to cross the road, and then he actually bit him, and then he goes, ah, see a luck, I don't want you in my way. That spider wasn't very nice. Then that skeleton came and kicked that spider off, and then he goes, ah. <laughs> what book did you like the ending of? Um, was it Dogman? No, Chicken Little. It was Chicken Little? It was Dogman in a minute ago. Now you're switching it to Chicken Little? Dog you told Man. you told me you liked it when Flippy turned into a good guy. Yeah, two of those I love. You love both of them. Okay, so we liked Chicken Little's ending because the sky wasn't falling. And we liked Dogman because the, the, ba the bad guy turned into a good guy. I like your positivity. Where'd you get that positivity? Uh, I just learned it from my mom. What about your dad? Isn't your dad positive? Mm-hmm. I feel like you're just kind of going with the flow right now. What flow? The flow, the flow of the day. Can't you feel it? Mm-hmm. And what happens in the parable of the frog and the scorpion? Okay, so up on my back. Okay, so the, so the scorpion gets on the frog's back? And he stings him. He stings them, and what happens? They both drown. They both drown. It's in my nature. <laughs> All right, what book reminds you of the sea, Mason? Let's see. Zombie Fish. Zombie Fish? I've never heard that book before. Is this one of the books that you've been reading on your own? It's kind of a game. You draw a skeleton, and you have to put it in the drowned water, and you have to magnify it into your magnet scooper. And then it comes right in to the magnet scooper. And that, that book reminds you of the sea? Uh-huh. You sure you don't want to go with something like Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway or something like that? It might be a little bit easier. What's Old Man and the Sea? You don't remember when we read Old Man and the Sea? Nope. You loved it. Uh, what what author do you like the best? What's your favorite author? Uh, Ramsey. Ramsey? Ramsey. Ramsey? Yeah. What books did Ramsey write? Uh, he read the book about two frogs walking together, and then a spider came, and these guys came. So, so two frogs are walking, then a spider and some cockroaches come over? Uh-huh. And then they say, hey, 
Can we come over? Yeah, just hop on our back. Okay, so the two frogs have the spiders and the cockroaches jump on their backs. Yeah, on their head back. I feel like this is kind of heading towards the scorpion route. Whoa! You know, it, don't don't spoil it for the people that haven't read Ramji yet. You, you want don't tell them the ending, okay? I am in my nature. You're in your nature. <laughs> what bug scares you? Uh. Spiders, they definitely do. Spiders scare you? Mm -hmm. Why? They're very cuddly. Look. Hey! He wants to cuddle with you. No, he's not. What's he trying to do? He's trying to catch a bug in his web. A bug in his web? And then he eats it. He eats bugs? Uh-huh. Well, I'd be afraid of anyone that eats bugs. That sounds creepy. Yeah, this guy eats bugs when bugs fall into their webs. Oh, I believe it. What? Last question is question nine. What book inspired you? Uh, what book makes you feel happy? Um, the cockroach story. The cockroach story? You know, Mason, we had all these books planned that we talked about inside on your bookshelf. And I feel like once once we got out here, I feel like you'd be, I think, feel like you button hooked me. I didn't know you were going to button hook me. What's up with that? Well... The cockroach. Do you remember this book when you were little? Do you remember how it used to scare you a lot? Do you think if we were to read it now, it would still scare you? Uh, no. I'm you, brave. You're brave? Mm -hmm. Are you brave enough to touch that hairy spider? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Good start. Good start. Now, do you dare touch this big, scaly, green monster's belly? <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything that's in a book. You're not afraid of anything in a book? Uh-huh. You are so brave. If something is real, I'm going to be scared. Now, Mason, are books just for fun? Uh-huh. They're not real, right? Uh-huh. All right, now this next page, though, Mason, this used to scare you. When I'd flip to this page, you used to run away. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Are you going to run away? No. What if it's a big, scary monster? What? Look how brave you are. You just stared that wolf right in the face. Put your hand in there. Clearly, Mason, you've grown up. What? All right, you want to see the scariest monster of all? <laughs> this was one of your favorites. This used to scare you when you were a little baby. But, yeah. but it's not so scary now. Sometimes when you reread books... Sometimes you have different feelings, don't you? Yeah, but now I'm a boop boy. I don't let something scare me. Yeah, we don't we don't get scared from books, do we? We're men here, right? Uh-huh. I'm the best dude. You're the best? What about this one? This was one of your first books. Do you remember this book? Uh-huh. Spooky Pookie! What's Spooky Pookie? You remember Spooky Pookie? It's Halloween, little Pookie. Alright, I want you to impress everybody with your new reading skills. You ready? What word is that? Tr I try. Try, that's right. You've gotten really good at reading. What about this word? What's this? The. What word is this? You. What about what, what word is that? The. What? <laughs> Where did you learn all these words, buddy? I'm telling you, you must be practicing. What about, mm, these are some tri tricky words. What about this word in the middle? Do you know this word? Or. 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 Good job. All right, buddy. So first of all, let me ask you this. What? Bugs. Scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the creepiest, 1 being the most snuggly. Where are bugs? I would rather squish a bug. You'd rather squish them? But you realize sometimes they're very good for the environment. They sometimes help flowers grow. And you like flowers. Don't you like flowers? So maybe, maybe every now and then we can not squish a bug. So that way we can have some pretty flowers. Is that a deal? I just want to squish this guy. Mommy would, mommy would appreciate you squishing the spider, that's for sure. 